Hi everyone, it's Tao and I'm back with another one. What's worse than having a defective phone? Finding out about that defect outside the return window. Some of you may know that Samsung smartphones have a hidden built-in diagnostics menu by typing in the code star pound zero star pound into the dialer pad. Although this menu can be helpful, it's not user-friendly and comes with little to no instructions. I actually played with it when I first got my Galaxy S9 and my screen went completely black during one of the tests. I had to restart it to get it up and running again. I was at the Samsung Experience Store over the weekend checking out cases and one of the sales associates recommended that I check out the Samsung Members app. He mentioned that it has built-in diagnostics for Samsung smartphones. He uses it for all new customers when setting up their devices to check for any hardware issues before they leave the store. In my head, I was like, nope. I'm good, I don't want extra bloatware on my phone. Anyways, I went home and decided to check Samsung members out since he seemed genuine about it actually being helpful. After trying it, I have to say it's pretty good. It's basically a much more user-friendly version of the hidden diagnostics menu. Once you have the app open, just slide the headings to the right and you'll find diagnostics. The developers of the app really need to make the diagnostics menu more visible. Anyways, tap on diagnostics, then near the bottom, tap on test hardware. Once in here, you're greeted with a variety of tests that you can go through one by one to ensure everything is functional. For example, clicking on the sensors test, the app will automatically run tests for all the different sensors in your phone. The accelerometer, barometer, light sensor, gyroscope, and magnetic sensor should all have normal beside them indicating no issues. The touchscreen test generates squares across your entire screen. It requires you to slide across each and every square to ensure there are no dead spots on your screen. The heart rate sensor is something I think a lot of people forget about. Even if you don't use it, it's still good to know that it's not defective out the box. The one test that I don't seem to understand is the in-call speaker test. It states, hold your phone as if you are answering a call to check if you can hear the sample sound. When I put the phone to my ear, I don't hear anything. Can one of you guys test this out to see if I'm the only one here? My in-call speaker does work fine during phone calls. The other tests include battery, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, hard keys, vibration, mic, speaker, S Pen, camera, ports, SIM card, fingerprints, wireless charging, and iris. The app also has built-in live chat for Samsung support, a message board as well as a benefits page showcasing all the different ongoing promos. I ran all the diagnostics on both my S9 and Note 9 as well as my husband's S9 Plus. The Samsung members diagnostics is definitely going to be part of my day one routine with all new Samsung smartphones. I would much rather return a phone with a defect inside the 15 day return window and get a new one instead of sending it to Samsung for repairs and being phoneless for an extended period of time. Do you test every aspect of your new phones? What's your diagnostic routine look like for brand new devices? Let me know in the comment section. If you made it this far, you're officially part of the Peace Squad. Good vibes only. I have a camera comparison between the Note 9 and S9 Plus coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that. Until the next one, peace. Bye.